Hello, welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I am going to show you how to delete options from your UEFI boot menu. Uh, so the screen I'm going to show you now, um, this is my current boot menu, and you'll see there are lots of options available. And if you ever do any kind of distro hopping, uh, your boot menu might look the same. Uh, obviously, if you've only got one or two distros installed on your machine and you end up with seven or eight in your boot menu then that's not ideal and you probably won't use any of them so in this uh, guide i'm going to show you how to remove them so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a terminal and i'm assuming you're using something like ubuntu or um Fedora or something like that but essentially for if you're using Ubuntu or Debian or Mint or any of the other um, Ubuntu based distributions just type sudo apt install EFI boot MGR uh, if you're using uh, Fedora it's sudo DNF and if you're using uh, uh, Arch or something like that it would be sudo pacman um, as you would with any other package that you install but uh, we're going to do it for Debian right now so so it'll ask you to install the thing it might ask you to press Y to accept and then it's going to unpack it and install EFI boot manager and you can type EFI boot manager and it will list all the um, operating systems that are currently in your EFI boot menu and the one with the asterisk here is the one that is currently booting you can change the order of the boot this video is about removing them because um, many people will get into a situation if they distro hopping where they have all these boot options available so all we have to do is um, type EFI boot manager and give a list of items in your boot menu and then you do IFI boot MCR minus B the one you want to delete 0001 and then minus B as shown uh, and obviously I've got permission denied so it needs to be sudo and you can do sudo bang bang and you see that uh, what was previously there MX21 is now gone so if I want to get rid of Manjaro I can do the same and pop and essentially what you do is you keep doing that um, you keep typing in the numbers until um, you only have the ones that you want left obviously make sure you don't delete the one that you need And that leaves me with just the two. And that's it. And then all we have to do is reboot our computer. And um, I'll show you the screenshot of my menu now. And here's my new boot menu. And as you can see, I've just got the one option, uh, which is for Ubuntu, which is, of course, Lubuntu in this case. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.